gets fatter. Huh. Hey guys, it's Sharon. Now, if you're new to my channel, if you're not, either way, I make a lot of period-related videos because, listen, as a girl, I feel like we really shouldn't be afraid to talk about these things. Sadly, there's a lot of stigma and taboo over it, but the first step starts with us. We can be the first ones to break it, and that is what I am here to do today. Now, I made a video not too long ago. If I'm not mistaken, it's literally 20 signs that your period is coming, and here's the thing. So I got a lot of people that were like, oh, I mean, I already have my period, or I already got my first period, so I'm going to watch this anyways. That that video is actually about periods in general like those are just signs of when you are gonna get your period so I decided okay maybe I should make this video which is specifically signs that you're getting your first period ever so if you do want to check out that video feel free to this is just basically some signs that your first time of the month is coming so if you do want to see more videos like this give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you want to have a say in my videos make sure to follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram and of course subscribe for more if you want to see more like I mentioned I do make a lot of peer related videos but I also just make a lot of girl related videos in general and I also spill some tea so if you ever want to binge I have a bunch of playlists on my channel that are very binge worthy there is one disclaimer that I do kind of want to mention before we actually dive into the five signs that your first period is coming and that is no one can say exactly when you'll get your first menstrual period but it will be sometime during puberty and puberty is the part of your life where you start to become an adult now some girls can start puberty at age 8 and some girls can start puberty at like 14 or 15 each girl goes at her own pace there is a saying or like this thing that you can ask your mom when she got her first period to kind of get an idea of when you will get your first period. So I would recommend asking them if you can. My mom got her first period at nine years old and I got my first period at 11 years old. So it didn't really make much of a difference for me because we didn't get it at the same age. But I mean, I guess a two year difference isn't that bad. Either way, it doesn't hurt to ask them. Now the signs. These are really in no particular order. So another disclaimer. You need a bra, aka your boobs start to grow. In the beginning, the small bumps around your nipples become Come raised then the darker areas around your nipples will start to get darker and then they puff out it might even feel like there's a little lump on your chest and these are just called breast buds most people get their first period two to three years after the breasts start to grow if your breast buds begin to grow around age eight or nine it might take closer to three years for your period to start if your breast buds develop later like when you're 13 for example then your period might actually start in less than a year your body's shape and size also changes quickly before your period starts menstruation usually starts six months to a year after your fat fastest growth spurt. This is the average timing, but it might be a little bit different for you, and that's totally normal. This growth spurt can also happen two years before your first period or around the same time as your first period. If you're tracking your height and you notice that it was like changing really fast and then it starts to slow, that could be a sign that your first period is around the corner. Along with height and weight changes, it's also normal if your pants size changes because your hips are getting wider. Some parts of your body will become fatter and rounder and a little bit thicker, but some parts will also stay the same. Your vagina China, uterus and ovaries will also grow. The way your vulva looks and feels will also change. The outer lips of your vulva will become fatter and then the inner lips will become a little bit more wrinkly. And then your clitoris also grows a bit in size. If you don't know what your vulva is, it's basically your outer lips of your vagina and then the inner lips too. So the inner lips get wrinkly, the outer gets fatter. The outer gets fatter. Huh. You can take a look at the changes going downstairs by just using like a little handheld mirror. You start growing hair down there. Shortly after your boobs start to grow, you might notice your first signs of pubic hair. It doesn't have to be in this order, like it doesn't have to be your boobs first and then pubic hair. It could be pubic hair and then boobs first. It's all normal and it doesn't really have like a set pattern that it follows. At first you may just see a few long pubic hairs, maybe even one, but just know that they eventually like will fill in over time. You are getting acne. This was definitely how I knew my period was coming. I do remember getting like my first little pube and I was like, what the heck is this? But when I really started to break out, that's when my first period came in. Oh man man, acne beat the crap out of me. You might also notice that your skin is oilier in general and that your sweat and your underarms have more of a smell. Puberty is a great thing, isn't it? This is one of the common ones I think you may know, and that is that you start seeing discharge. Sometimes after your boobs start to grow, you might start to notice a little bit of a liquid in your underwear that isn't exactly pee. Your vagina may also feel a bit wetter than it has before. Some people will start to notice this about like six to 12 months before the first period. Period. Again, there is no like set time frame. This liquid is normal. It's vaginal discharge. We all get it. It'll likely be like this thin white liquid that doesn't really have much of a smell. And this happens as your vagina develops a new community of healthy bacteria and becomes more acidic to protect your reproductive tract from bad 
bacteria. Sometimes it'll be more fluid, sometimes it'll be less fluid. Sometimes it may look and feel creamy, kind of like a moisturizer. Other times it might look stretchy and clear, kind of like an egg white. Now please do not try and wash your discharge with soap. Discharge is normal, I cannot emphasize that enough. Fun fact, your vagina is a self cleaner. It can throw off the balance of bacteria in your vagina to douche or wash your inner vulva, so don't clean, don't wash, don't use any harsh soaps or any soaps in general inside your vagina. Keep it to the outer lips the most. Once you start cleaning your inner vulva with soap, it can cause your vagina to get a little bit smelly, become itchy, and become less healthy in general. There are some vagina specific soaps, they're like pH soaps, that I would still recommend to just using on your outer vulva, which is like, you know, like your actual vagina. Don't put anything inside or close to inside because guys, like I mentioned, your vagina will clean itself. So don't mess with it and let it do its job. Now the last thing I do want to say because I want it to stick in your head and I want you to remember this, it is that everybody is different and I mean that literally. Every body is different. The exact timing of your body's growth will be unique to you. There is no set formula, pattern, whatever you want to call it. It's just life and you know it's kind of beautiful in a way. It's so unique. You are the only you sis so don't feel stressed if your friends will have their period and you don't have your period yet. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You will get your period one day or another. It just might take longer or it just might come sooner. Nothing to worry about. I promise. Now if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this or any period tip videos or any girl talking specific also comment that down below. Like I mentioned I do have a bunch more period and girl talk videos on my channel so feel free to binge those whenever you want. Shout out the week goes to Anna Maria on Instagram. Thank you so so much. If you do want to be shout out the week just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. And of course if you want to see more you should definitely subscribe for more. But all that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!